Let's talk about another mushroom, the fly agaric. So the fly agaric is pretty much the mushroom. It is the most iconic. It's pretty much the one everybody thinks of when you think, like, mushroom. It's like the iconic toadstool, the red cap with the white spots, and the white stalk. It is iconic. It's also rather toxic. It is in the Amanita family, so it is related to the Death Cap and the Destroying Angel, two personal favorites of mine, and this is on that list as well of my favorite mushrooms. Now, it's not nearly as toxic as the other two famous mushrooms in the Amanita, however, it is still pretty toxic, and it's also psychoactive. Now, the symptoms of this tend to be very, very unpredictable. You don't really know what symptoms you're going to be getting. It varies widely based on the individual who ate the mushroom as well as the individual mushroom itself. But commonly, it's gastrointestinal and neurological because the toxins in it can act as a neurotoxin. Some of the more mild symptoms include things like nausea as well as uncontrolled muscle twitching because you can't really control your muscles. You can also experience mental effects such as euphoria or hallucinations. Some of the more severe symptoms can include things like seizures and coma as well as amnesia after the fact. Now again, these symptoms are very general and they can vary wildly between individuals, so you never really know what you're going to get. Now interestingly, there has been hypothesis that these mushrooms are linked to the origin of the myth of Santa Claus. That's a whole other thing that I'm not really going to get into there, but there is interesting historical context behind these mushrooms as well. Now disclaimer, I am not telling you to go out and eat these. However, they are in certain cases considered to be edible. Now don't just go out and raw dog these mushrooms because that's not going to go well for you. However, there are certain cooking techniques that do make these mushrooms edible. You have to boil the shit out of them like two or three times. You have to boil the mushrooms, get rid of the water, boil them again, get rid of the water, boil them again. That leaches all of the toxins out, and then when you replace the water, then all the toxins that got extracted are discarded along with the water. And then these are edible. In my opinion, that's a very intensive effort for something that does not seem worth it to me, because even then, if you don't do it properly, there's still a chance you can get sick from these, so to me, it's not worth it. Also, before you ask, this method does get rid of all of these psychoactive compounds in it, so you are not going to get high off of them using that method. Now, there are methods that you can use to cook these to get rid of the toxins but retain the psychoactive effects. That involves dry heating, so like cooking it in the oven as opposed to boiling it. However, I will say, would not recommend doing this because the effects are very, very unpredictable, and again, you don't know how much toxin versus psychoactive compounds you have in there. There's no guarantee that you get rid of all the toxins. Also, there's no guarantee of what effect that the psychoactive compounds will have. So you could be in for a very, very bad trip, during which you might still get sick from the toxins. So, while well, yes, theoretically you can use these for the psychoactive effects, I would not recommend that you do so. Now, while still toxic, the fly agaric is not nearly as toxic as other Amanita species. There have been a couple confirmed deaths, but nothing recently, and most of those deaths have been in children who are not strong enough to deal with the toxins on their own, which is unfortunate. However, like, you probably won't die from this, you'll just have a very bad time from this. This is also one of the types of fungus that form a mycorrhizal symbiotic relationship with trees, so it works together with trees to form a root network that helps distribute nutrients and break down nutrients and all that, so that's also very cool. It's a very cool mushroom all around, just don't eat it. I know what you're thinking, it's not worth it.